give it always a try. Today I'm wearing this Invicta Matic. It's uh, this one is made, if I'm right, between 2004 and 2008. So it's also a discontinued Invicta. I think it's a very nice one. Um, the diameters are 42 millimeters. So for a dresser, it's a little bit on the big side, a uh, size. But you can see the wave pattern on the dial and the uh, uh, Roman numbers. So yeah, I think it's a very nice watch. Oh, I hold it uh, upside down. You have here a um, small seconds. Uh, that's on the left. And you have an, a big crown. And some... Um, Yes, I think I'm not sure how to explain it, but you have here like an, a small holes on the side. And I think very nice locks. But one thing I, I think the locks are a little bit wide, so the watch will look more bigger than it is actually. And there's a nice loom. Uh, No, this one is not automatic, it's a hand winder. When I wind it near my microphone, maybe you can hear it. And maybe you can hear it ticking. But um, I think it's a very nice watch. Inside it's a, Sw it's a Swiss made watch. Inside is an, um, an Etta. Um, a unitas movement. I'm not sure what the numbers is. I thought it was at uh, 46. I have to look it up. I'm always bad with remembering those things. But it's a unitas movement. You can find uh, those unitas movements. They use it in a, a lot of different brands. This one is very basic. They, they are also used when you're learning, uh, um, when you're into the watchmaking. And most time on uh, when you're studying uh, watchmaking, they will give you this movement uh, as a first movement to repair a watch. Because it's very basic. It's also um, um, basically, it's a bigger movement. You can see it. It is big in this case. This case is 43 millimeters and will fit... Um, narrowly so yeah uh, it's also this movement was already originally made for a pocket watch so yeah um, basic but it's, it is a it's a good movement it's a workhorse it's uh, easily to repair um, you can find a lot of um, parts for it you have also like um, because the 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 part um, the patent is um, it, do, it doesn't has has any patent on it anymore, so everybody can make this movement. And you have like Chinese, um, Chinese Chinese unitas movements, like Siegel also do with the chronograph. That's not a unitas, but in the, uh, I think uh, in the last video live stream I did, uh, I talked about the um, the Siegel uh, chronograph. Um, yeah. So, it's it's a, you can buy like those Chinese um, for maybe thirty uh, thirty dollar. So it's not expensive to buy a movement. Uh, but this one is a Swiss made uh, Unitas movement uh, movement because it's a Swiss made watch. Let me see. I see that there are people commenting. I'm not sure if I have my phone here. Oh yes, it's here. Let me check. Let me check on my phone the live stream.
Um, yes, it's here. Okay. Hey, Rico, how are you? And hello, hello, Oliver and Sauce Drop. So yes, um, I think it's an, a great watch. If you can, if you can get this one, I think you will like it. You have them in gold tone with an, a lit, I think it's also li uh, like champagne uh, dial, a little bit golden champagne dial and with golden indices uh, or numbers on the dial. So it's, this one is is uh, uh, is it's like uh, very flashy with the gold, but you have you can find them also with a black dial and with stainless steel case. Uh, you can find them with a uh, copper color, uh, uh, a copper or uh, um, rose gold um, case. So and and you have also a different fire, um, different with different dials. So yeah. So it's a really nice watch if you're looking like for a more classic design, uh, maybe hand winder, uh, maybe something for like for. Um, special occasions. I think that's a very nice watch to have. When I bought this one, it was also like in the those in the past, if it made those old uh, wooden boxes. I'm not sure if I have here one, but if in the past, oh yes, I have here one. Right, this one is what, yes, this one is with that watch. So in the past, Invicta made those wooden boxes. You can find them sometimes on eBay. So that this was this this watch was with this box. So it's, and I think it's a very nice nice case to keep it. It's a shame they don't make those boxes anymore because I love them. But they are easily to find on eBay. Yes, I'm fine, uh, Rico. Yes, I'm just uh, fine. I'm um, a little bit tired. Uh, like uh, I, I did. Um, I'm also working in the night, and I have to uh, be awake in the night. And I think uh, that was a little bit heavy. Like I have, like uh, I worked to, uh, this week like four nights just straight after uh, night after night so that was a little bit heavy for me but um, today I was free and yeah I I, sl I slept a, a lot and I think I'm doing now well yes I think it's a cool case in the past if it made those cases uh, I, I don't understand why they only bring out like those simple plastic ones. I don't. I think there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, yes, I see. I see that the computer is making it like silver tone. <laughs> but this is a, in real. It is an a yellow box. So that's that's a little bit about the um, uh, watch I'm wearing today. So. And, and the price is, uh, I think it's really nice price because they sold those uh, U, um, Evicta Matics for around uh, 100 up to $200. But now you can find them uh, on eBay around two $300 and maybe even more. So yeah, maybe I, uh, maybe I have, uh, after this stream, I have a look on the internet, maybe on eBay, maybe Chrono24 and we'll put some of those uh, watches uh, down below. Um, yes, yeah, so you can have a look and maybe buy them. Yes, today I, I want to talk about the new release uh, of Effect. I will... So... This is one of my watches. I have it here and now in the front of me. But because I think you cannot have a clear picture of it with when I'm holding it, I will put a picture in the screen. So you have here a picture on the screen. 
and that is the Invicta Chrono. It is an Invicta Chronograph. I think around the from around the sixties. You can see it because uh, because on the dial it has Inca block, and Inca block is all already very old. Uh, you have like watches from the forties or fifties that has Inca block, uh, but most time uh, chronographs uh, from uh, the fifties or sixties they have Inca block, and before uh, the fifties you most most time the chronographs uh, don't doesn't have Inca block. Um, so Inca block, a lot of people are asking always like in the chat, what is Inca block? Inca block is a protecting system. Uh, when you like falling, uh, um, when your watch is falling on the ground, uh, it will get an, a shock. And that Inca block system uh, is like a protecting uh, for like for shocks. So it's a shock protector. Uh, you can a lot of watches with, without those Inca block protecting system will break very easily. When you have like a big smash with it on a table, it's possible that it will break very easily, and you have to replace uh, parts. And yeah, it's really bad. And Inca block is it makes like uh, more shock resistant. So that's about the mechanism. Uh, but more about this watch um i'm also very active on a lot of different uh, forums um also a lot of uh, watch groups not only Invicta watch groups i'm also uh, uh, reading a lot on uh, you have Invicta holic on on facebook nice group a lot of uh, i think a lot of um, uh, collectors i think around uh, think 10000 uh, followers on uh, on facebook but I'm also following a lot of different uh, other forums. I'm also reading sometimes on the on the Rolex uh, forum. You have the in in Holland. You have the um, the Horloge forum. So that's also a very uh, popular uh, watch forum. Uh, not about Invicta but about uh, different kind of brands. There's all, all, also sometimes about Invicta, but also about Rolex, Omega, um, uh, Tudor, um, and also a lot of uh, uh, smaller uh, Swiss uh, vintage brands. Let me see the case because it's very active. Uh, Rico smiles. I just got my SpongeBob watch and my Iron Man Venom puzzle. Going to do fun videos on bots. Yes, great. I did an, uh, a live stream also about the SpongeBob watch. Um, I hope you don't, didn't watch it, but I'm not not that uh, negative about that watch. Uh, it's not my cup of tea. Um, but um, I hope you have bought it for an, a good price. If you have bu bought it for a good price, I think why not? It's just a fine watch. So it's uh, uh, everything is depending in my eyes also on the price and how rare it is and uh, what you like, especially. Um, yes. And it's also like with this, uh, with the new uh, Invicta chronograph release. If you're in more into the big, uh, big, bold and colorful watches, I think this is too classic for you. So this one I, I, today I'm talking about is a very classic watch. And the, uh, Invicta will make a release of, um, of this watch, of this chronograph. And yeah, if you like more into the, into the um, more colorful, I think, yes. You can go for a um, SpongeBob or maybe a Bolt or an, uh, a Venom. You have also like the Venoms. Uh, you have now a lot of hydroplated watches with uh, with like the gravity designs, and I think that's also very nice. I just want to try one uh, just for the fun. Also, I think that that all the colors it will not be my, my cup of tea, but I really really want to try it because just for the feeling. Um, uh, I'm just very interested in 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 the designs. Um, I think I think it's very uh, fun to wear, and watches also always have to be fun. 
you you don't wear it like uh, um, you don't wear a watch for uh, um, yeah uh, like some uh, some some other peoples like to uh, um, to downgrade other peoples uh, uh, to downgrade other people but uh, you wear a watch because you like it and um, uh, that's I think that's the biggest reason you just wear it uh, because you like it and Invicta has a lot of different kind of watches as I showed you this one the Invicta Matic they made in the past but they made also a lot of other uh, classic design watches in uh, in the past and nowadays um, but they also make uh, bigger watches they make colorful watches uh, they make uh, more uh, uh, more classic watches so if it has a lot of different kind of styles I think they try to like to get uh, everyone if you don't like the big watches you can go for a pro diver um, and even the pro dive we have in in a lot of options um, yeah so I think for everyone there is something um, but I'm really interested to see that uh, that uh, SpongeBob I'm I, I, in the past I also told everybody that I'm not really a guy that like uh, the um, the Disney watches or the, the, the superhero watches or Star Wars. I'm not really into such things. I'm a big Star Wars fan. I'm, uh, I've am i seen all the movies, I think, uh, 10 or 20 times. And I've seen a lot of superhero movies and uh, read a lot of comics, uh, superhero comics. So I really love those comics and I really love those, fi um, those films and... Um, yeah but uh i'm not sure to wear it like on my wrist i'm not really sure maybe if i find something in the future maybe i will try it but i'm not really sure uh where was i <laughs> yes i was talking about uh this chronograph um Yes, it's a classic design, and I know from a lot of watch forums that they, uh, they a lot of watch forums they are bashing like the 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 more big and bold and colorful Evictas, and I think that's that's they don't they don't the people that on the on those forums they don't understand that a lot of people really love uh, some bigger designs and some bigger watches and and also maybe a lot uh, um, more color on the watch. And maybe like those uh, designs uh, that are based on on, on Star Wars and uh, Disney. People don't understand that people like that. I, I understand that, that people like that. You have uh, different kinds of peoples. Uh, some people love only like dressers. Some people only like uh, um, diving watches. Uh, some people uh, like um, golden tone watches. Um, some love uh, like uh, also like uh, team themed watches like uh, Star Wars uh, and Disney and uh, uh, you have uh, different kind of people so a lot of those guys on the on those watch forums are like one kind of people and they are only like into the classic type of watch and uh, a watch uh, has to be um, not bigger than 41 millimeters and when it's bigger than 41 millimeters they will say, say that it's too big, it's uh, monstrous, and they will complain about it. And uh, a lot of people are like that on those watch forums. I think that's really boring. That they, that they and, and it's not. I I don't understand why why people are like <laughs> complaining when uh, when there are a lot of other people that really love uh, also love watches but don't lo love maybe those smaller pieces that are really classic. Um, but uh, for the um, uh, for the like for also for people that love classic kind of watches, Evicta has something, and um, 
this is an example this is uh, this is an, this is based on an older um, let me put a, another picture no it's not this one yes this one So I'm back. So this is the the this is an um, this is a drawing of um, of the reissue that Ifikta want to release. So it's based on that chronograph I showed you. And I this design is it's it's, it's I think a lot of Ifikta holics are thinking that this is a boring watch because it's 40 millimeters it has no colors it's it's stainless steel with a silver dial uh, with silver indices and uh, silver hands but um, a lot of people that uh, are like into those uh, uh, watch forums and that only love classic watches this is a really classic kind of style this is a uh, chronograph from the 60s um, and it's really uh, for them they are really excited to get this one um, uh, you don't see um, you don't see a lot of chronographs for a good price um, uh, that also uh, has some classic design so it's a very nice design you, when when you see the other picture I showed you you have uh, you see like um, applied indices uh, also the the small um, the small dials for the seconds and the uh, and um, and for the um, to measure the minutes for, of the chronographs of the chronograph it uh, it's really nicely done and when Invicta can copy that that kind of style onto like onto the new reissue I think they have a big hit. Uh, a big hit also of like for to get the, those people that are complaining about Invicta, get them into Invicta. <laughs> Maybe they will not like to, the big Invictas, but may, I think I'm, I'm almost sure that they, they don't complain about uh, such designs. Most time when uh, on those forums, they on, only complain about the 50 millimeters up uh, and and uh, and more uh, d uh, d that designs. But uh, they really love the um, the pro diver, and uh, you have a lot of different kind of styles uh, within the pro diver. You have also like uh, th uh, those that are um, um, that are painted. You know, you have with uh, uh, that are blue and reds uh, with the red straps, and uh, you have different kind of pro divers, also golden plated. There are a lot of people chatting in today. Let me see. I think I'm going to do a few puzzles and I have them around my work desk. Oh, do you have, uh, uh, you mean the um, uh, Invicta puzzles? I think in, in uh, Europe we, we, we can't get them and uh, not yet, but I have to contact um, Invicta um, if it, uh, Europe, if we can get the, those puzzles, I've seen them on uh, on their Instagram. If it also make those um, of some of their uh, uh, special watches they has made, they, they made a puzzle of them. I think thousand pieces puzzles, so it's really difficult. Maybe I want to try one. I'm not really into uh, 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 into the. Uh, I'm not really a guy that like puzzles, but maybe try just for once. Uh, especially because it's uh, it's about one watch and I think I can make a lot of nice pictures about it let me see along with Invicta engine hopefully I want my stream setup very Invicta themed yes I'm, I'm still working on that I want also this this stream more Invicta uh, it's now really basic 
I have here uh, down uh, you can read uh, to subscribe and uh, very basic and you have on the left you have the the chat box and sometimes I have uh, I have a picture and I, I make myself smaller but if you need any help with that I can also help you or if you have questions to set up there's no problem I will help you out if you have anything and I can help you And I missed this one, Olivier. I love my Invicta 1953. Yes, it's a, the 1953 is also a, a classic. It's in a pro It's from the pro, pro Diver series. Classic design watch, and it's a really big hit on those watch forums. A lot of people really, really wa uh, wanted that watch, and when you put it on the, those uh, those forums, it will be sold maybe within one hour. So really easy to sell, and uh, a lot of people want it. Uh, it's it's forty millimeters. It is an automatic. It has a Japanese movement inside, but there's nothing wrong with that. The design is uh, very basic, very classic. Uh, it's nicely done. The finishing is nicely done. So yeah, nothing wrong with that one. Sostrop, you are right. There are people that like that. Yes, I'm, I was talking about those watch forums and people that you have people that like classic watches, but you have also people that like colorful watches. Uh, you have people that like those designs on the hydro. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that there are people that only want those hydro plated watches uh, with maybe with the crafty designs. I'm pretty sure that there are people that only collecting those. And you have people that collecting the Magnums only. And you have people that are collecting uh, um, uh, turbulence. Uh, you have also people that are collecting other brands like Tissot or uh, you can you can call it maybe uh, even uh, Jung Hans or um, yeah. I know a guy that uh, he's also on Instagram and he's only collecting Glycine watches, and um, I'm pretty sure. That guy, he's really into the glycine, and only his collection. He has maybe some other brands, but he only has glycine and and a lot of uh, vintage glycine watches, so very old uh, GMT uh, glycines um, and, uh, and dressers, and but also some modern uh, glycines. Uh, yeah, you have different kind of people and uh, people with different kind of taste. So yeah, I like giant, let me see, Sostrop, I like giant watches, very thin watches, dress watches, World War II replica watches, and diving watches. So that's our, uh, yes, you're also mentioning like I did, you're mentioning also like the type of style watches, you have uh, most time, um, People are like, uh, you, you have dressers, um, divers, chronographs, uh, GMTs. My favorite is my Chanel J12. It's a black ceramic and really beautiful. I'm not sure if, I, if, you, if you have my Instagram or my email. I really want to see a picture uh, uh, of that one. I've seen some Chanel watches, but are those not expensive? But I'm not sure because sometimes you have like brands that also making uh, more fashion brands. You have also fashion brands that making uh, more expensive uh, watches. I, s I think I've seen some weeks ago a Louis Vuitton uh, watch. I'm not sure what movement is inside, but the strap was definitely uh, Louis Vuitton. And also on the dial you have that Louis Vuitton pattern, uh, but that one was really, really expensive, like thousands of uh, of uh, dollars. Um, but I think it was a nice watch. Uh, I love my Grail. I showed you my limited edition, three out of three hundreds. Der Burgundy, Pro Diver, Swiss Automatic, Elite Diamonds, Mother of Pearl. I will. What do you, what do you want, Rico? 
but I, uh, I uh, yes, I think that's a very nice watch. I think it's really beautiful. Yeah, you have. I think you have shown me that one. But number three out of three hundred is also uh, very, uh, very to the number one. This one, uh, this this one, uh, if it will make uh, this chronograph, they will also make it in limited. So far, I know. If I'm right, they will make three hundred pieces of it. So only three hundred people will be lucky with this design. So the rope, I was given it, it's $3,300 new. So, that's a very, 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 very expensive channel watch. I'm really excited to see it now, because uh, I, th I think I will never buy a watch that is that expensive. Let me see, it's on my phone, It's the internet is out, yes. Is doing it again, um, but that's a very expensive watch. So I'm really interested. What kind of movement is inside? Is it a quartz, or is uh, inside an uh, an automatic or a hand winder? Um, for the people that are living in Europe and um, are are collecting Evictas. You have also now, uh, Evicta Europe has also a live stream. They do it on Instagram, uh, YouTube, and Facebook. And the show is every Thursday, if I'm right. But they are still thinking about Thursday or Friday, so far I know. Uh, they give discounts on some of the watches. Um, they do it together with America so far now, I know so they're calling if uh, America to get some uh, if it has more cheaper and give uh, give a big discount but um, they also announced about this um, um, if a chronograph so for the people that are uh, living in Europe maybe you can also follow uh, in Victor Europe uh, because they have every week a live stream and they will give big discounts and give you more information about like uh, when they uh, when they will bring a new store in uh, in Europe and um, um, yes discounts uh, about this chronograph but maybe also in the future they will do other announcements so I think it's it's an uh, it's very nice to do a shout out also for Invicta Stores Europe. Uh, if you want, don't want to miss uh, any uh, information in the future. I will do a classy video on it. On what? Ah, a classy. Oh yes, you you want to do a classy video. On that uh, that watch, yes, yes. Okay, I'm very interested to see that video uh, about that watch, uh, Rico, on that Pro Diver. I think it's a stunning timepiece, so re I'm really excited to see it. Look up Chanel J12 Automatic. Uh, let me see. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, yes, I think it's very nice. Let me see, is this one? The internet here is very bad today. Not that good. Oh no, the wrong button. Oh no, again. <laughs> I I uh, I press the button to send that picture as an email. <laughs> who, wa who wants an email? <laughs> but I think this is the the watch you got. 
right? It's this one. Just drop. So you're saying it's a pity Invicta don't make a 43 millimeter version or version of this one. So yes, I think Invicta can make their own version of this Chanel watch. Uh, the, I think the dial is very nicely done. Let me see. Let me make it bigger. So, so I think the the dial is very 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 nicely done. And in the past. Evicta uh, made also crowns with um, with stones on it, and this one also has a crown with stones with a stone. I think it's an a sapphire, maybe a blue sapphire, but I'm cannot. It's, or it is a black onyx, but I'm guessing. And uh, this one is uh, ceramic, and Evicta made in in the past also ceramic watches. Ceramic is a material, it's very, very hard and very scratch resistant. So those watches will never scratch. You will not get a scratch on it. <coughs> but there's one downside with ceramic. It can break easy. So when you fall, when the watch will fall, it can, uh, it can break very easily. When you like, um, uh, when you when you drop it, when you are like shaving yourself um, in the bedroom, it will uh, it will break very easily. So you have to watch out um, with uh, with the watch when it's falling. You not, you don't have to you do, you must not drop it. Let's say that. But uh, it will not scratch. It will. It, it, it's almost impossible to get a scratch on ceramic. So that's very nice uh, about ceramic. But yeah. But uh, I think if if Victa can make can make one of the, those, uh, it's very similar. Also, the design of the Pro Diver. You can everybody can see it. It's a typical diver watch. This one. Um, and it has, but it is not, I think, is it ceramic um, bezel? Because it's also looking like, um, how it's called, that, that kind of glass, kind of glass uh, bezel. Because it's a little bit like, uh, the, the Pro Diver normally is al aluminium, and that is flat. But this one is not flat. Or flat. Hmm. Anyway, very nice watch. Let me bring up one one of my Oh, the picture is very big. Let me see if I can make it smaller. So. I will pray ceramic bezel. Okay, it's ceramic also. Um, let me see. Yes, the lady one has diamonds. So this one, uh, this one, the, the, you have the Chanel has uh, onyx. Um, yes, don't drop it. Yes, you don't have. You you must not drop it because that uh, because it's made of a ceramic. Uh, and it can break uh, very easily. I will pray our first love Invicta make one like it. We will see. We will see. They uh, made already uh, those 1953 that are based on uh, the um, the first Rolex Submariner. 
And in fact, I made those Seiko uh, kind of um, watches. Why they do can't make this one? And we will see coming months if they can make a reissue of this one, of this very classic, very classy um, chronograph. And um, we will see what Invicta will do. I think they will. It will also be a, a very nice, a nice hit to make so such pro diver with um, uh, that that is based on the Chanel. But the Invicta made also in the past um, um, uh, vintage uh, divers. And I think those are also very nice. Invicta can also go like more into the vintage and uh, in their heritage. There's a lot of uh, history and a lot of uh, a different kind of. Um, um, they have a lot of uh, different styles of um, watches they made in the past and they can um, make some of them again so that's also a, a possibility a possibility that they, that they will do something like that and I think there are a lot of uh, collectors that uh, really love those designs yeah um so again this is the the chronograph and maybe if i can maybe i can make it maybe i can compare them but let me see if i can have them on the screen So, yes, I know the one, uh, I know it's, it's not, you can, you cannot clear, clearly see that they are uh, the same watch, but what Invicta is trying to, is to copy the, the, cl the classic Invicta 1960 chronograph. But what do you think about this? Do you think you, uh, you want to buy this? Or are you like more into the bigger Evictas or maybe uh, what is your, t uh, I'm just wondering what uh, kind of style of watch you are wearing mostly. More chronographs or are you what, wearing more like dresses or you want, are you wearing more like those big uh, 50 millimeter, 60 millimeter Evictas. Or are you more into the, um, yeah, more into the classic watches? I'm just wondering. I have also not, um, uh, some other uh, chronographs, but I think I can't, I think they, I, I think I have them in my boxes. They are in the box somewhere up, but um, some of them are also very nice. I get often a lot of people also on Instagram that they are asking me to sell those watches. Are you selling them? I think I, can get, I get weekly people that asking me, can I buy that watch? How much? So I never, I've, I'm also very active on Instagram. I post almost every day one picture or so. And a lot of t times people asking me, uh, do you uh, sell this one? And uh, most time they uh, send a print screen of that watch or... Uh, and <laughs> I always say that I'm, I'm not selling my watches. Let me see that burgundy watch Rico, Rico has needs to live in my collection. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Rico, you need you need to make a video about that uh, that Burgundy watch. We really need to see it, especially me. I I, I also need it in my collection. So you have now two people that want that watch, uh, Rico. So you're not. Uh, so there are a lot of people that want your watch, and you, you really have to sell it. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Okay, Oliver want want to buy this one. I think uh, I did, and you're not the only one. I put uh, some. Um, I'm not sure what Invicta is thinking about it. But uh, I, I put like some weeks ago when uh, a picture of this one on the internet and I changed uh, some things on it. But uh, people asked me, is that one, um, is that one for sale? Is that one, uh, did, I, I told them this is the new Invicta that they released. And in a in a watch group, and they uh, and uh, like two hundred people within one hour are like liking the message, and uh, one hundred people commenting on it in within an hour uh, about the watch. And do you have more information? Do you ha do you have a link to the website? Where can I buy it? <coughs> so that was really funny to uh, to see. A lot of people uh, are commenting on uh, on this watch. And uh, I'm really interested to get it. Um, yeah, and th those are people mostly from uh, 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 everywhere, not only Holland, but also uh, England, uh, Germany, uh, France. So, yeah. So, if Victor can produce this watch, for a good price, I, I, I will, I'm, uh, I'm almost sure they will. Uh, this one will, will be sold out. Uh, so far, I, in the last in their last uh, live stream that Evicta Europe did, they told uh, that this watch is a has a quartz movement. So far, I know it's a, a v, uh, VK. Uh, 64 movement that's made by Seiko so it's a very reliable movement Seiko always make very nice watches and uh, Seiko was uh, I think one of the first uh, manufacturers that were into the quartz watches so they're a big they are a big name uh, when it's about quartz watches everybody know those uh, uh, um, uh, quartz uh, Seikos. Let me see. On the stream. Lol at sauce. Yes. <laughs> I was also joking, Rico. Um, that's my grill. Yes, it's, I, I understand that you grill, but I'm really into... I want, really want to see the... Um, uh, to see the um, a video about that one, uh, Rico. Sauce rope. Me too. That shiny watch on the left with the ceramic strap. Are you guys friends with anybody at Invicta? Does Invicta listen to their fans? Let me make myself bigger. Yes. Okay. Evicta. They're they are not an, a small company. It's not like a micro brand uh, that you can contact and some somebody the owner is on the computer. <coughs> but Evicta has. I think they are. They try to listen to uh, to the fans. You have, uh, I think, Ayola, uh, the, that's the CEO in America. He has a lot of contact with fans, so he's also a lot on the live stream with Shop HQ. And then uh, you have a lot of fans that are on Shop HQ, like Rico Smiles. He's a very popular, you know. He they ask them him always on on the on the Shop HQ. 
now he he's asked one time so there are some of the people that they that that can get on the shop hq live stream like rico so he can he can he can tell from his own experience that they they try to get in contact with uh, with collectors like rico and you have like uh, also uh, a truck vision he was uh, i think also one or two times on the live stream and was tell talking about his uh, watch hobby so they tried so they they are watching us i'm not sure if they're watching my small stream but they are watching uh, what what uh, collectors are doing uh, they, I think they are also watching the uh, the watch groups uh, and they are watching what people like and what they don't like uh, what people are complaining about so I'm pretty sure that they try to listen listen uh, yes but I'm not really friends with anybody uh, within Invicta I know some names and I I, ha I have emails and contact with some uh, people that are within Invicta uh, but I'm not I'm not working for them uh, I will not get paid by them uh, I don't get free watches so uh, this is everything what I'm doing it's just my own uh, doing because I just love uh, talking about watches uh, I love Evicta as brand and I think uh, also uh, other people like uh, Rico Smiles is doing the same thing he's just love to but he, uh, he loves to talk about um, about watches and also about other things and uh, just uh, showing that in his videos and I think that's very nice and I think that we can say the same about uh, Trap Vision, John the Phone Guy, Tommy Big Time. Uh, Fat Cats. So, yes. Um, do you think they listen to the fans? Yes, do, they don't do everything that the, uh, they do. They, a lot they don't do everything that maybe I want <laughs> if it was me I, I, I really want to see more effect uh, more um, more getting more into like more making making more expensive watches because last years uh, there I think the top line are the turbulence or like the Chaos watches with uh, the special what with diamonds and uh, um, uh, meteorites and such one. Um, but what I personally w want to see is I would love that the Invicta uh, bring out like more the the more ex expensive movements. In the past they did like the Eta um, Van Granges uh, movements. Like uh, like this one in a GMT, and they had them also this movement with um, um, with the chronograph. So this in GMT, but those those watches are really expensive to make. When they first this one when they first produced it in two thousand twelve, this one was announced at Basel World two thousand twelve. It is a very a very expensive watch to make, and uh, also like the the Sub Arca Nova Five, very expensive with a, a special uh, crowns system. I think they put a lot of effort in those watches, and <coughs> sorry, I have forgotten to bring water. When, when I'm talking too much, I have to cough. Um, and last, I think last year's their designs are not that special made. I, but I'm not really sure. I don't want to complain about everything. Because I, I, I'm also liking that they 
producing last years the, those hydro plated watches because you can have now more colorful and with designs and I, th I think that's very nice oh please if you can make some more turbulence yes I, I also lo love that turbulence uh, but not only uh, I had one in the past and I will definitely buy maybe one in the future I'm not sure which one I've seen the um, I've seen one time the turbulon with those stones um, let me think what's what's um, Siri that was I'm not sure um, if it a mate it's it was a really big um, let me see I can't find it I think no I can't find it but I'm I want to see I want to uh, I want to get an, another uh, turbulon maybe in the future and this time I don't sell it <laughs> Oh yes, I don't sell it uh, this time, soft drop. So this time I'm, uh, but uh, uh, th that one I, I think I really love the design. But uh, somebody else really wanted, and I needed the money uh, that time. Uh, so yeah, but maybe in the future when I maybe have an, uh, a big hit with uh, with cash, maybe I will buy another one. And I will try another design. Such rope, they need new talents in the design studios. I think the designs are not bad. I think they are not bad. They make well made watches. And uh, I love the designs uh, with, uh, um, with the hydro plated uh, graffiti style. Uh, also the Spongebob, uh, you, you, if you don't like Spongebob, I understand that, but the idea that you can, um, um, that you can, with Hydroplate, that you can have a design on the, on the strap and on the case, uh, not on the bracelet and on the case of the watch, I think it's very nice. Um, but I think that there all the pieces, I think, but especially between let's say between 2005 and 2000, um, 2005 and 2000, I think 2014 or 15, those designs are, I think they are more, I think they're more expensive. They, they put a lot of effort into those designs. Uh, as example, I, I, uh, I mentioned already like the the the, no, the sub aqua noma uh, five. Um, I have that one. I hope it's inside this box. My camera is doing strange with yellow, as you can see. It make it a little bit grayish. box is yellow I think it's because so you can see it it's doing some strange things with those box so this is the number five this one will well, also I will do a giveaway I think coming months and you can win this watch so it's a very nice watch also the, the bracelet very nice bracelet And a helium velvet. 
So what what what, what makes this watch expensive is because of the the, the patterns on the um, crowns. So you have here the big crown. You can see now it's now flat. So it's flat. Oh, the cut wants to get inside, but you can make it also like this, so you can uh, pull it out. Who wants to see the cut? And the crowns of, of the of the chronograph, you can um, make, do like this, and it's also flat. And when you go diving. It will now go up to four or five hundred meters. Let me see. Now, when it's in, it's five hundred meters. And I, I read somewhere when you don't have the those when you don't have them uh, uh, flat, they uh, it will have uh, two hundred meters water resistance. Hello Kitty, let me see if I can pick him up. Hey! Yeah, come here. Ooh. Say hello. So, you don't want to... You don't want me to get him on uh, to pick him up. He wants just something to eat. <clears throat> Let me see. Question: These hydroplated watches is the plating paint very hard wearing? Is it going to survive ten years on my wrist? I'm not sure. That's also my question. I'm not really sure how long it will uh, hold th that hydroplating. I'm really not sure. Also, when it's uh, when you have um, uh, also with gold plating, uh, a lot. In fact, they're using gold plated uh, like ten micron uh, when it's golden gold plated, ten, mi ten micron. Uh, uh, gold plating um, it will hold 10 years but um, some of my watches are like 30 or 40 years old and you can ask yourself the question will 10 micron um, gold plating hold 30 years but also quartz watches uh, they are very easy in use you have only to replace the battery uh, most time you don't have to give them a service, uh, but after 20 or 30 years, you can ask yourself, will the movement still work? So maybe you have to replace them if, if you w really want to keep them that long. Because some of us are young now, but you will have to watch like maybe 20 years or maybe 30 years. Um, so yeah, that's one thing I want. Um, um, I'm just wondering. I uh, Rico is responding. It will last very durable. Yes, I, I I'm also thinking that it's very durable. I think the the I'm pretty sure that the hydro plating will hold longer than the movements itself. But quartz, uh, most time you have like quartz and they can go easy 20 years 30 years not with the battery you have to replace the battery after maybe four or five years or three four or five years but uh, the um, the movement uh, yeah um, let me see in the comments the video will be coming can hopefully get my hair done because I want to make the video to be super classy for the grill. Yeah. Good, Rico. Rico, I'm really excited to see that watch uh, and also the video. 
uh, I think it's an amazing watch. So yeah, it will be amazing. Very nice. Also, I want to make an ending on this live stream. I think we, I've streamed um, around one hour now. So I want to thank everyone that are like responding in the chat and make it a nice conversation. I really, I really like that. So thank you everyone for uh, to chat and to just question and responding. I really like that. And also special thanks to Rico Smiles. He's also a YouTuber. Also very active, active on social media like Instagram, uh, Facebook, um, and YouTube. So everybody visits um, Rico Smiles. You can find him in the in the chat box. Um, let me see if I can make a text. <laughs> Very big. <laughs> yes, this will do. Oh, this is uh, not the right. Uh... But uh, anyway, um, um, visit Rico Smiles' channel. Uh, subscribe to him. He is doing a lot with Invicta and uh, uh, reviews about his watches. But he is also like uh, in a lot of videos. He is also talking about other subjects and other topics, and that he want to bring in, uh, attention to. So that's I think that's very nice. Um, he's also a very nice guy. You can read it here in the chat. He is an amazing guy. So visit his channel and subscribe to him. And everybody for the for the rest, everybody I want. To thank you also for listening. Um, if you don't chat in the chat box, it's no problem. Anyways, I want to thank everyone that are listening and watching this live stream. Um, so I want to wish everybody a good night or good evening or good morning if you're living somewhere else. And bye bye.